In this problem, we have a pipe full of oil. Um, we're told that it has a flow rate of 4.36 cubic meters per second, and it has a radius of 1.25 meters. And what we want to find is the velocity of the oil moving through this pipe. So now, when we think of flow rates, what that is, is literally if there's a cross section right here, how much, 4.36 cubic meters per second, that is exactly how much volume of oil sweeps past that point in one second. So if we were actually to draw, let's say 4.36 cubic meters, just happen to be this amount in this section here. Well, that amount is going to sweep past there in one second, and coincidentally, that's going to give us our velocity, right? Because this distance is how far it went in one second. So, I mean, if that's whatever, a meter, then it's one meter per second. That's beside the point. To figure out exactly what our uh, velocity is, flow rate, Q, is equal to area times velocity. Okay? Now, that's the cross-sectional area that we have to find. I'm just going to So the area is going to be from this radius, we'll figure that out. The velocity is what we're looking for. V equals Q divided by A. Just to hold so for that we know Q. A is pi r squared because it's a circular tube. So the cross-sectional area is pi r squared. V equals Q over pi r squared. So we sub our numbers into here. Q is 4.36 meters cubed per second, all divided by pi times 1.25 meters squared. So pi is 3.14. We plug all our numbers in there. We get a velocity of 0.888. Look at the units, meters squared, cancel with two of those meters, gives us meters per second as our final answer.